Hi, I'm Thomas Putchell from the Visual C++ documentation team. Here's a quick tour of the weather app I created for Windows 8.1. Weather is a 3D weather app using C++, DirectX, and XAML. I've never seen a 3D weather app before, which inspired me to try my hand at building one. And I want to use DirectX and hardware acceleration to really differentiate my idea. I'm using touch to interact with the app, but you can also use the keyboard and mouse as well. Everything that's rendered in 3D uses Direct3D and everything that's 2D is rendered using XAML. The entire app is written in C++, so it's 100% native code throughout. The app uses Gesture Recognizer to enable, it to enable you to zoom in and out quickly and navigate the globe. When I tap a location, I get current weather info for that location. You can use tap and hold or the mouse to get more information. I use the C++ REST SDK to talk to the weather service and to Bing Maps. This part in particular uses the Parallel Patterns Library to perform work in the background and thus keep the app fast and fluid. When I bring up the app bar, you can see the extended five-day forecast. You'll see that the cloud effect changes depending on the expected weather conditions and the expected wind direction and speed. Also notice the stars in the background. I render them using a technique called billboarding, which is an effect that works both on ARM and Intel-based devices. Also from the app bar, I can change my home location. Now when I select home, I get a smooth animation that goes to my new home. I can also navigate to my current location. This uses the location services that are built into Windows 8.1. The app keeps an in-memory spatial database of the largest cities. So for fun, you can also navigate to random locations, allowing you to explore different parts of the world. You can also use the pin control to explore new places. So here we're doing a 2D to 3D projection to determine where the pin control is located, and then looking up that location in the in-memory spatial database. So say you're planning a trip to New York City and you want to keep an eye on the weather. You can also create a bookmark on the start screen. So here I tap pin the start and choose the city I want to pin. And then the OS will bring up, the OS will bring up a pop-up to confirm my choice. And you'll see there's a tile on the start screen and when I tap it I go right to that experience. Speaking of the start screen, the primary tile contains current weather info for up to five locations. You get your home and current locations and up to three other random ones. The tile contains actual 3D content from the app and uses new capabilities in Windows 8.1 to composite XAML on a bitmap image stored on disk and displays that image on the start screen. The app also lets you manage your locations. First, you'll see that the Earth continues to render in the background. And each location tile contains a cache 3D image of that location. You can use semantic zoom to quickly navigate among locations. You can also delete locations or reset the app to its initial state. Weather also utilizes the search contract. The app uses Bing Maps to get location data and also downloads and caches flag data for later use. Last but not least, here's a quick look at the app settings. You can toggle between Celsius and Fahrenheit, toggle a diagnostic display, and also turn on and turn off the various 3D weather effects. If you find this project interesting, I hope you'll check it out at weather.codeplex.com. I look forward to getting your feedback, and I hope you'll also consider contributing to this project. Thanks for watching, and happy coding.